don't you deserve to feel just as sexy as a man, as a beautiful woman, just as powerful as a man, as a confident woman? Don't you deserve to be a powerful man that feels like he deserves it no matter what? It, you know, you're, you're bringing quality to the world. So why wouldn't a girl like you? Wouldn't you like to be the guy that goes out to a bar and your friends are going, I hope I meet a girl tonight. And you're saying to yourself, why wouldn't you? You're a guy. Girls like guys. Girls, I'm sure I'll meet a girl. You see, you're built to attract women. You're built to be attractive to women, to polarize them. It's part of who you are deep down inside. So in this video, I want to talk about what you really want. When you say, I really want to date a lot of women. I want to date a lot of women. I want to have amazing sex. I want to be a, a player or a pickup artist. What is it that guys that say that really want? And what keeps them from accomplishing their goal of being really good with women? Well, a big part of it has to do with self-love and confidence. What you're really wanting there is to be validated. You're wanting women to like you. You're wanting women to tell you you're good enough. And that's why you're constantly chasing girls and not getting them. You see, guys that really like themselves usually don't have trouble getting girls. Guys that really think they're worthy tend to find girls that find them worthy too, because your belief system creates your reality. When I was a lot younger, when I was first starting out, I really wanted women all the time. I wanted to meet the hottest girl. I wanted to date the hottest girl. I wanted her on my arm. I wanted to date multiple girls. And I, and that, and I always needed that next girl. And there was that sense of a validation hit that I was chasing. I was chasing feeling good about myself. And every time I picked up a new girl or met a new girl or went on a new date and I did well, I felt good about myself. But then it would start to feel worse as the days went on. I didn't have another girl to go out with. Matter of fact, I remember a time that I had gotten actually pretty good at getting girls. And I was dating different girls, I was dating multiple girls at once. And I was sitting in my house and I was always having a girl over every night. And this one night I didn't have a girl over. And I started to make some phone calls, couldn't find a girl to come over, everybody was busy, there was something going on. And I started to feel really sad. And then I got curious and I started to kind of sit with the feeling. And I realized that without a woman over to validate me, to tell me I'm good enough, I was kind of depressed. I didn't really like myself. And I needed to make a huge shift in that area. And I realized it was time to make a change. So it was shortly thereafter, matter of fact, that was the deciding moment. It was shortly thereafter that I ended my relationships with all the women I was dating. And I ended up taking about, a, I think I started out with like a four month hiatus. I might've gone a little longer of learning to like me, taking me out, going out with me. And I know that can sound boring to a lot of guys, but that was such a powerful journey. Now, I don't think that journey would have worked before I could get women because there was a time in my life I didn't have women over and I would distract myself with whatever, trying to figure out how to get girls. And because I was terrible at getting women, I couldn't get one over to save my life. And so I would sit there and dream about women, want women. And then I finally reached this point through a lot of hard work and effort and pushing myself and state pumping myself that I finally started to get girls into my life. And as I got those girls into my life, I started to feel validated. So I thought I was feeling better. But the truth was, when the girls weren't there, I actually still felt bad about myself. And as a matter of fact, the girls I was getting weren't the girls that I really wanted to be with anyways. I wasn't super happy with them. They were filling up time. I wasn't falling in love with any of them. There was no sense of like, this is the perfect girl or, or I love, you know, they were, they were, they were actually, they were kind of, they had the same self value I did in a sense. I don't think they liked themselves as much and I don't think I liked myself much. But as I started to build the confidence and I started to date again, I started to come back to the dating arena after I started to really like myself, started to be happy without girls. It was amazing the difference in girls that came in. Matter of fact, my next girlfriend was off the charts. I was like, wow, she's so much more giving and sweet and loving. And when I dated, every girl I dated was so much nicer and sweeter and less, less difficult. And I realized that I was drawing who I was being. And I also realized I didn't want to date as much. I wanted days to myself now. I wanted to be with me. Matter of fact, I didn't need a girl to make me feel good about myself. I could go out and just hang out with me or hang out with a good friend or, or hang out with a girl that's just a friend. I didn't need a girl to tell me I was good enough. And that was a big transition in my life. And I've been building on that ever since. I find that the more I build a sense of self-worth, 
self-love, self-esteem, like I am worthy, I am deserving, I'm deserving of an amazing woman, I'm deserving of the money, I'm deserving of success, the more it just comes to me, the happier I am. And that is powerful. And that's what Fearless was built on. The whole idea of Fearless was built on, don't you deserve to feel just as sexy as a man, as a beautiful woman, just as powerful as a man, as a confident woman? Don't you deserve to be a powerful man that feels like he deserves it no matter what? That, you know, you're, you're bringing quality to the world. So why wouldn't a girl like you? Wouldn't you like to be the guy that goes out to a bar and your friends are going, I hope I meet a girl tonight. And you're saying to yourself, why wouldn't you? You're a guy. Girls like guys. Girls, I'm sure I'll meet a girl. You see, you're built to attract women. You're built to be attractive to women, to polarize them. It's part of who you are deep down inside. Let that sink in. And, and what I'm going to invite you to do is for the next week to find words like that, that that feel really good to you. I'm a sexy bastard. I'm built to attract women. Women chase me. I bring tons of value to women. So that's really important too. Not only am I an awesome guy and I bring a lot of value to a woman's life, but I also that, that I'm an awesome guy, but that I bring value to her life too. That I help her to feel like the best version of herself. And as you begin to feel like a good guy and you're giving that value away and you're saying, hey, I don't need you to validate me. And you start to relax and say, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna enjoy you. And you can like me or not. That sense gets inside you. It's, it's more of an attitude than a, than a literal saying, something you say. Then what's gonna happen is women are gonna want to validate you more and more, want to be around you more and more. It's this weird thing. When you don't need it, it chases you. But when you chase it, it runs away. And if you need their validation, they smell that all over you and they don't wanna give it to you. So become a guy that's happy without women. This, now that might mean going out and approaching women, talking to women, and then walking away and being really honest about what you feel. What do I feel after talking to women? Do I feel invalidated? Do I feel rejected? And starting to let all that go and learning to feel good about yourself. That's where our Revealing Mastery program is so powerful. And you can learn to really let go of those deep repressed thoughts and feelings. Or another thing is if you are good with women, you're getting a lot of women, but you're not happy, maybe start taking yourself out on dates more and start saying, what can I do to have fun with me? Do I, matter of fact, do you have fun with you? If you don't, I'm going to recommend you go on dates with yourself anyways. Go figure out things you like to do for you. A woman's not going to change that. What type of things do you like to do? So again, take a, take a deep look at how you feel about yourself and come up with some statements that really kind of say the opposite. I like myself. I love myself. I'm worthy. I'm a sexy fucking bastard. Stuff that makes you smile and laugh. And start to say that more and more. Look into getting like the revealing process masterclass that we have to help you really break up the deep embedded stories about your self-esteem, about who you are as a man, because you are designed to attract women. That's even another one. I am designed to attract women. I'm a man. I naturally polarize women. Take those and actually run with it and start to step in to the best version of yourself. And I guarantee you in a short period of time, you're going to start to like yourself more and more. I, the most powerful thing I've ever done was learn to like myself, learn to love myself. Not just with getting me these amazing women that have come into my life since then, but just happiness and joy. Learning to be happy without the woman there allows you to be, to not need her to validate so you can truly be you around her, which is what she really wants. This really brings a powerful meaning to the sentence that we always like to say, our statement basically, that only the confident really live. Because when you are truly confident, you don't need others to tell you you're confident. Remember that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to put some comments in the video. You know, what, what kind of statements are you gonna use that make you smile, that make you laugh? So the thing about a statement is it should make you smile. So what, what kind of like, you could say affirmations, but to me, you're, you're saying them and you're just letting them go. And so think of them more as a prescription for your soul. And what kind of prescriptions are you saying for yourself? Put that down in the comments for me and let me know. I'd love to hear them. Remember to subscribe. Remember to hit that bell notification. Remember to like the video if you got some value out of this. And remember again, only the confident really live. And it's time to develop that confidence. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.